Happy fifth birthday, Boxu! I wish I had like poppers and streamers, but I don't. And we're cute little party hat, something. Can't even decorate scissors, Kun. But still, happy birthday, Boxu! This one is Boxu birthday. If you didn't already know, they are five years old this month. So this box suit is really filled with brim, and the packages in here are a little different than what I'm used to seeing. So it was actually really hard to put everything back in after taking the photos, but just to give you another volume of stuffed box. Whoop. Again, there is 12 snacks plus a tea, I think. Yeah. As always, I'm going to start off with the tea which this time is a matcha latte. Yes, a Hoshino matcha latte. I think this is only a half a cup's worth. Hopefully I'll get it right. I'll be right back with that cup of tea. Mm. And I am back with the Hoshino matcha latte inside Mushu here. It is very green, very green. It is also said to be really sweet It's very sweet. Ooh. Although it's pretty good. I mean, once the, oh gosh, this is sweet, settles down, the matcha flavor comes through and it's really, really tasty. It'll be good to enjoy with all the snacks. We're gonna start our prefixture journey with the Jaga Cocoa potato chips. They are chocolate covered potato chips. Milk chocolate, potato chips from bourbon. Ah. Obviously, they're supposed to hit on the sweet and salty, but they consider these more sweet. Wow, you can see the melted chocolate all over them, too. Like, I thought it would just be in with the chip, but then it kind of looks like the bottom of like a fudge, a fudge stripe cookie, so it's like really caked on there, and then you tape that there, so there's a lot of chocolate on these chips. I'll try to get one that's sort of average and this one looks pretty average I am a little sad that there's no resealer because I can't eat all these at once I'm not sure I'm liking the chip the taste of the chocolate is really good the chocolate overwhelms the chip a bit and yeah I'm not really I'm a little disappointed I thought these were gonna be like totally delicious now we're going for a savory snack from Hiroshima, some seaweed tempura. It's in a camel-like bag. And let's see. Let's see. It says, ooh, whoa. <laughs> it says there's also um olive oil and white vinegar. Yeah, olive, olive and white vinegar inside. So there's olive and white vinegar in here, as well as the seaweed tempura. And it is strong smelling. Mmm. Holy. Mmm. I barely taste the seaweed. Oh, no, it's like vinegar. Okay, that's very vinegary. Oh, wow. Oh. Oh, my. Okay, that's also a little strong this time. Okay, now this one I've been looking forward to ever since I opened the box and saw it. So, it's just the sable. The sibale? It's a sable, which is a French style cookie. And this one has some Japanese flavors in it, like uji matcha and um, nama choco. I am totally looking forward to this. Wow, it specifically requests scissors cut. Well, scissors cut looks like you're needed today. There we go. Do your mighty duty. Hopefully this will taste way better than vinegar. Oh, it's so cute. It's supposed to have like a chocolatey center. 
Ooh. Oh yeah. All of them are there. Oh, okay. That is super good. So the match is very subtle. And the chocolate doesn't really punch you in the face either, but you can taste the chocolate a little bit over the matcha, but the matcha kind of comes in in the aftertaste. And then once you have it with the tea, mm, it is super good. So you can be not the biggest matcha fan to enjoy this, which is good. Our next thing is some gummies from Kusugai. Maragoto Kajitsu. Peach and muscat gummies. So there are peach gummies in here and muscat gummies in here. Really easy to open packages again this week. Sorry, scissors skin. <laughs> Ooh. I try the muscat first. I'm not really a big muscat fan, but they're nice and soft, but they are still pretty chewy. And the muscat tastes really good. I mean, you can really feel the juice going through it. And the peach? Mm-hmm. Mm. I absolutely love it when a peach flavor includes like how it tastes when you bite the, the fuzzy pe the fuzzy peel when you first bite into a peach. I love that the best and these half at and I absolutely love that flavor. So these are super duper good. We have this guy who is mimicking a taiaki. Puko Puko Tai. <laughs> We've had these before. Um, I think I've had a chocolate. I don't remember if there were other flavors I've tried. Kind of like a crisp wafery shell that has a strawberry mousse in it. So he looks like a little taiaki. But really it just tastes like a melt. It's just a melt away wafer type thing. Inside is this like really aerated strawberry mousse. Mmm. Very fluffy. I think you have to really really like like strawberry flavored things to really like this. Very strong. Very sweet. But I like the texture a whole lot. Now another one I'm really excited to try are these little guys here. These are Shinsu Apple Rabbit Manjus. It's basically a bread bun with white bean paste and apple flavor in it. Probably gonna... Yeah, gonna need scissors. Good. You're needed again. Feel honored. There you go. Alright. So, yep, it's a cute little bread bun. He's a little toasty on the top. I don't think you're gonna see apples because they're probably mashed into the paste. Oh, that's dense. It's got a good apple flavor. Really good. And I like white bean paste. But it's also a little dry. But yeah, the flavor's good. It's just a little dry. So our next little dude is a Momoyama. And it really is just white bean paste and kind of like a breaded outside. This is really dry and it coats your mouth, but it's a very pleasant because I'm it has white bean paste and quite like this doughy thing created from the starches and the egg yolks that are in here. It's so soft that I don't know where the bread and then the paste begins or ends. Maybe it's all mixed together. I'm not exactly sure here, but this is, this is really good. But have a drink ready. So these are supposed to be sweet too. Usually when I see a cracker, I think, oh, it's going to be savory, but this one says it's sweet. There are mini red bean crackers. They have red bean in the middle. And they say it's inspired by porridge that's usually consumed in the winter. So they're like crackers or a biscuit or something. Oh, these are surprising. The bean paste in the middle is there, but it's not... It doesn't feel like a paste. It's very small enough that you get it in the cracker. Oh, yeah, this is really surprising. I would have never even tried this if I didn't get one of these. Because usually crackers and things like that aren't my thing, but... That actually tasted really, really good. We got these savory guys next. Um, 
Otona no Otsumami. More soy sauce crackers with black pepper curry. So they got a little bit of a kick. They also say Ebby Crunch underneath, so kind of implies shrimp, but we'll see. All right. Okay. There's a lot going on here, actually. Woo! I can't quite pinpoint the smell. It's sort of a mixture of soy sauce and fish. But then there are also, like, peanuts in here. That's how I like peanuts. And then the car. Mm. A spicy, spicy cracker. Nope. No. No. <coughs> if you like spices based off of black pepper, you will love these. I'm not a fan of that type of spice, and that was assaulting for me. But. I can tell that it's well made, and for someone who likes that kind of thing, it'll be very good. We move on to another savory snack, Happy Turn Rice Crackers. There's two bags, and they came with two different designs, they're really cute. And they say they have a buttery sweet flavor, so it should be a more mellow thing for me. Alright, so this is going to do your job. There we go. Okay, they look like big fries, sort of. Only they're not, obviously. It's kind of some kind of sweet. It's salt, but it's, it's like kettle corn flavored. They're okay. I think if they were thinner and less heavy, they'd taste way better. But I can see how like kids would like them and stuff like that. They're they're okay. So this other one is really exciting too. When I went to Japan, we tried Mitsurashi Dango, and they took regular Dango, grilled it up, and then put this thick soy sauce, sweet soy sauce sauce and sesame seeds on top. And it was very tasty. We recreated them for Christmas, and they were pretty good. And then I was able, excited that I was able to make this type of sauce for yakitori later. But other than that, I've never seen it come back to me in a good mochi form before. So I'm actually really, really excited to try these because these are a mochi, it's filled with the Mito Raji Dango sauce inside. So I'm hoping this is gonna be really good. Am I gonna have a hard time opening it again? Oh no. Scissors code, I'm getting stronger. Watch out, you might not be needed anymore. All right. I want to break it open. Ooh, there is a dark thing inside it. So. <laughs> All right, let's try this. Oh yeah, this takes me back. I miss it so. <laughs> also, it also takes me back a couple months to the mochi box that I'd have to say it was probably the most exciting box I've ever got because I love mochi so much. And these with the sauce is just, it's beautiful. The texture is so pillowy. The sauce is just like it. They're perfect. And I think we're on our last snack. Long de chat cookie. This one is an amao strawberry and milk flavor. So. Oh, that one had a rip open too. Man, Sizzacone, you must be really sad today. Okay. So, it's a strawberry cookie with basically a milk center. It looks a little harder than Long to Chat. I'm actually going to lift it. Oh, because it's got strawberry and then the milk. Glico did one where I thought the center was rock hard and I just didn't like it. But most of the time, if it's good, then the center should bite real easy and I have like those. So here we go. It's a little hard and a little bit of a snap, but not nearly the brick, the candy brick I had before. Every sandwich cookie that we ever got from Boxu has been phenomenal. This is no exception. You get the strawberry flavor and it is toned down with a milky flavor. It's extremely sweet for a Japanese confection. But again, it's French-Japanese fusion, so it's going to be a little sweeter than your average thing. This is 
actually a very filling one too because it has the dual creams in it. But it is extremely good. That is all of them. So now comes the, what I like to call the judgment phase. There were only two snacks I could not stand. Um, lots of mess, but also a lot of goods. So again, overall, I think this is really good. Most of what I like about these boxes is the a surprise and experience. I don't know what I'm going to get every month. I like to see where these snacks come from, what kind of regions have what, what the specialties are. I've been learning so much over the past year. It's like a really awesome food journey. The most surprising snack were these crackers, which I would never have tried if I've seen them somewhere but sent to me in this box, opening them up and giving it a try. I found that I really like these. So that was the biggest surprise. And my favorite candy was the Mitarashi Dango in a mochi. This is amazing. So that's my opinion on this one's box. Um, please tell me which snacks you would like to try. And if you like, want to check out Boxer yourself, the website is down below at boxer.com. You can order boxes every month or you could go to their marketplace and just buy whatever they're on their site. It's Actually really cool. If you like what you see, please like and subscribe. I also am hoping to start doing videos on other things like uh, merchandise I get and other stuff I do. And um, you can find me on Instagram at Phoebe J Collects. You can find me playing games on Twitch at Phoebe J Plays. And hopefully I'll start getting the habit of actually using my Twitter, which is Phoebe J Tweets. <laughs> so one more thing before I go, this is a little preview for next month. Since I did say I'm going to renew this, we are going to see the haiku hint, which is summer's on its way with summer sunshine and snacks we're on our way to the south. So hopefully this means we'll be seeing something, maybe more from Fukuoka, maybe stuff from Okinawa. That would be really cool. So thank you very much for going on this food journey with me and hopefully, like I said, next month we'll see stuff from Okinawa or maybe somewhere else in the southern parts of Japan. Hopefully Debbie just says we're going to the south, so we're going to the south. <laughs> we just don't know how far. <laughs> Alright, so thanks for watching and again, like and subscribe and thank you very much. Bye! <laughs>